Hello, everyone. So how many of you participated with Save On Foods $1.49 days this week? I know that in the Lower Mainland, so many people. And you know, my apologies because I don't even know if Save On Foods is a national store. And so, you know, even within Canada, I don't know if everyone has it or if the promotions are even <laughs> just provincial. So forgive me for my ignorance, but those people who were in British Columbia, for sure, uh, how many of you participated in Save On Foods $1.49 days this week? It was absolutely amazing. And the strawberries, the strawberries were the number one item that everyone was talking about. They had one pound cartons of strawberries on for $1.49, of course. And let me tell you, these strawberries were absolute perfection. They were the best strawberries I've had this year. They had them on for a limit of four and people just stocked up at work and in friend groups. Everyone was like, Hey, did you hear? Did you see? Did you go? Did you get? I had friends who shopped online and ordered the products and had other friends shop and get them. Some went early in the morning like myself, others late in the evening, and they they just had the product, which was great. Like they didn't run out. You know, Save On Foods along with other, you know, retail stores, not just grocers, often when they have sales, they have a couple of the sale items and then they're gone. But the $1.49 day events that I have been a part of, which is I think three or four now, they actually have a really great amount of the items that they have on sale. So it's not like, oh, you have to be there by eight in the morning or else it's it's gone, which is really nice because it's it's very frustrating and um, kind of more, more like a scam when they have a sale to bring you in, but then they don't even have the item there. Anyways, all that to say is that doesn't seem to be uh, what Save On Food does with this kind of deal, deal in day. Because I have friends who go later on and they actually still have a good amount of the product. So they're restocking all day long, which is really nice. Oh my goodness, that's so great. It's so great to cash out at a grocery store and not feel robbed. For at least a couple years now, it has felt like a massive question mark when you see what's in your cart and the price that you pay for it. It's more times than not, you're a little bit surprised and confused and checking your receipt and then even more confused when you realize that the price is right. <laughs> so it's so nice with these kind of days to feel like you actually had a little bit of a financial win. So it's good and it's really catching on even with save on foods on social media like save on hashtag save on foods and hashtag dollar 49 day is actually becoming quite a thing that's how excited people are for it and it's kind of sad that society we can be so excited about a sale but it just shows you the climate that we're in and i saw this week unfortunately for you in the east that you woke up one day with your gas prices like 20 cents more per liter what a shock like I know I could in British Columbia, we still do pay more, but that's not the, that's not the point, right? The point is, is that you were used to paying what a dollar sixty, a dollar seventy per liter, and you woke up and it was a dollar ninety. That is a huge jump in twenty four hours. That's that's going to be hard financially, and just like we've said before, very demoralizing when you're just trying your best to make it and you go to sleep one day and then you wake up the next, and that's like wow. What a lot of money. That's a big, big increase, 20 cents uh, more. Just frustrating, isn't it? All right, so this week I did not get to the market, which sucks, but I did not. But I did get to save on foods, as I've mentioned very joyously already today. So I will start this video off with what I picked up from Save On Foods. Save On Foods, $1.49 days did not disappoint this week. All right, starting off, strawberries, one pound containers uh, for $1.49 and limit of four. So I picked up three and look, the strawberries are actually in like amazing, amazing condition. If I hadn't purchased so many strawberries this past week with my grocery trip, I probably would have picked up another package. I just didn't want them to, <laughs> to go bad because that would be a waste of money. All right, then English muffins. I chose sourdough. They are a limit of four. 
And then salad dressing, limit of three. I chose Thousand Islands, Greek, and the Asian sesame. The real fruit gummies. Uh, I think this was a limit of six. All right. Then the crispy minis, the small ones, limit of six as well. Barbecue. Or actually, no, this is a limit of four. Barbecue and ketchup. Everything else that I purchased they weren't $1.49 per one. They were $1.49 per two. So groups of two. So Snapple, they had a large variety of um, flavors. I chose two mango and then two strawberry kiwi. I saw later that this one was a zero sugar. That was a mistake, but oh well. These were a limit of 12. And then limit of 12, I think actually for all of the purchased two for $1.49 were actually a limit of 12. So along with that was the Uncle Ben's Fast and Fancy. Again, multiple different flavors. I chose three of the Chinese style fried rice and then three of the fine herb and wild rice because I find the packages have shrunk and I need three to, uh, to put with a meal with my family. So I just chose six of those. And then for the candies, I chose a nice variety of them. A large portion of them are going to go to my son uh, to go with his birthday present because he loves candy. And I like to put together like a little treat bag for the children on their birthdays. So again, these were worked out to be 75 cents each. I chose two sour soother, two froggies, one of the strawberry frosties, one Coke bottle, sour worms and watermelons. So probably about, what is there? Maybe six of these will go to my son for his birthday. It's just much cheaper to purchase it this way. And then also because he is young and, you know, self-control sometimes is a bit of a, <laughs> a struggle when the bags are being small in size, it actually makes it nice just in case he does get tempted and uh, enjoys the whole bag at one time. Okay, all of this came to $35. I believe all my fridge and freezer products came from Costco this week. Okay, starting off with the sliced strawberries, two kilograms for $15. Last week, midweek, I did pick up a bag of um, pineapple chunks. So I thought those would go nicely together. The chicken breast, $30. My son, his birthday's coming up and he requested uh, shredded beef burritos. And so I picked up this sirloin tip roast. There's actually two of them in here and it came to just under $33 for the two of them. I am going to use the other roast for tomorrow night. I have a function and I need, I won't be home to make dinner and my husband's working. So I thought I will use the second one just as a classic roast with potatoes and carrots. So when he comes home, he can just serve the rest of the family dinner. Okay, Greek yogurt, $11. Just under $11 for the 30 eggs. A couple of my kids are on a real big egg kick right now, so we're going through them a little faster than normal. Need some more sandwich cheese. This is uh, $15, and so was the old cheddar. $5.50 for the salted butter. $2.89 for the half and half, and then $5.45 for the 2% milk. Produce starting with Costco. I picked up a pineapple for $5.50, then some baby spinach for $5, cauliflower for six, red grapes, $11. The green grapes were actually 12, shockingly enough, a dollar more. And then, oh yeah, Costco, finishing up with Costco, the blueberries for $9. Then Real Canadian Superstore, quite a bit from there today. The baby carrots for $3.60. The pack of 15 of the small cucumbers was on special this week for $5. I did pick up another one pound carton of strawberries from Superstore for $4, just to top up with what I uh, purchased from Save on Foods this week. The corn on the cob has come out. And these were not cheap. They were 99 cents each, but I did pick up four because look at them. They are absolutely beautiful. And I have noticed over the last couple of years that the corn that comes out in this time of year is some of the best corn we'll have all summer long. Spring corn, more delicious than summer. Who knew? Uh, salary was $2.25. The bananas were 
at 69 cents per pound. Okay, broccoli this week, I just picked up one small crown because it cost, um, it was priced at 350 per pound, which is just so much money. So just a little bit of broccoli this week. Okay, look at this lemon, it's absolutely huge. Lemons were 99 cents each, although that's the size of two. And then limes were 99 cents as well. Because I did not get to the market, I did purchase just five uh, Pink Lady apples for $2.99. For $6, uh, the peppers, these were on sale this week. And then one a three pound bag of Ruby Red grapefruit, this bag was $6 everything else starting with what i picked up from canadian tire i just needed some more of my dishwasher tablets unfortunately they did not have the larger box today so i spent eight dollars on this pack of 25. then real canadian superstore starting with the staples i picked up some more cling wrap that was five dollars and then snack bags for three this ibuprofen just the 200 mg because the other one from costco is 400 so i thought I actually really wanted one with less medicine per tablet. And so I just picked up a small um, pack from Superstore for $5. And then also for $5, the baby wipes. The Go Pure bars, I picked up two boxes of the brown sugar, sugar maple. They are a big hit in our family. These pizza pretzel buns, this is for my son's birthday lunch. Some raisin bread, yummy, yummy. For pasta, I got the bow tie for some pasta salad and some spaghetti. I ended up making my bolognese sauce this week, so looking forward to having that again soon. Uh, craft dinner, just some President's Choice white cheddar. These were $1.25 per box. Then $0.33 cents per package, the chicken vegetable ramen, some grape concord jam, delish, $5.00. 250 for the white cheddar crispy minis. These Twizzlers, they caught my eye last week and uh, they're still on special for 225 per package. And this is pink lemonade. Mm, can't wait, very excited. One package of 50-50. Then I'm trying these pistachio almond cookies. Good day for $3. Also trying new this week. I don't know how to say this, bourbon, bourbon. I don't know, they look good. And they were, I think they were 75 cents per package. Over here, some Kool-Aid. We haven't had this for a long time. Uh, is on sale for $2.30 per box. I went with grape. Okay, and for cereal, Frosted Flakes. This one kilogram box was on sale for $8. And then for $5, the big box of Corn Flakes. Those will go together. For my son's birthday cereal, <laughs> he chose the Cinnabon cereal. It is a very small box. It was on sale for $3.30. Um, yeah, this is what he wanted. He's never had it before, but it has intrigued him. He's requested it many times. So because it's his birthday, I said yes. Pineapple juice, $1.50. The dried pineapple, this card is now up to $7. Pizza sauce, just under 4 then for the roast, um, the onion soup and the, sorry, it's my brain, the gravy. This was a dollar and this was a dollar fifty. Icing sugar was actually at Superstore this week. So yay, uh, $3.50. All right, moving on to what I purchased from Costco. Sunny D, this is for my son's birthday. This is one of his requests along with Twinkies. And then these frosty gummies, they were on sale, oops, for seven, I think it was just $7, seven or seven fifty dollars per bag, normally $10. And then for chips, the popcorn chips, these were on sale for just over $5, a big bag. These hippies, chickpeas, cheesies, they are so delicious. And I think they are now leaving Costco. They were $4.79 per pack and there were only 25 left. So I was happy to be able to grab one more package. We'll see if they come back in the future, but I don't know. They're, they're good, they're good. They're a nice alternative to cheesies. And then uh, for the nacho chips, I picked up the Kirkland brand. This was $8. 
the Dempster's Ancient Green Bread, $8.50. I actually remembered the Olive Garden Italian dressing this week. Hallelujah. Two for $10. There's just one here because I've actually opened up one package already to put with my pasta salad that I had at lunch. Then, yay, I have not had this coconut curry. I've never purchased it from Costco. I don't know if it's new in general or um, just new to us. But I love, love a good coconut curry. I'm really excited to try it. And I'm really hopeful it's delicious and that they keep it around. Because, mmm, yummy, yummy. Uh, fig bars as well. Just under $22 per box. Oh, and these were the same as the butter chicken. $10 for two. Okay, this should be the last week that I have to uh, film without a tripod. Hopefully next week it comes in. We'll see. Okay, prices. Real Canadian Superstore was $120. Costco was a big one this week, $292. So $412 for today's purchases. So quite a bit. Uh, now the items that I purchased for Trexon for his birthday, two items specifically, well, I guess actually three items specifically, the Sunny D, the Twinkies, and the candy. So he will be able to enjoy some of those, not some, but like one, one Sunny D, one Twinkie, and just a little bit of candy on his birthday, just to make his uh, birthday lunch at school a little bit nicer, a little more special. So it will spread out more than, it'll be used for more than one day. So that's really nice. Okay, everyone, thank you so much for tuning into this grocery haul. I hope you have a great week wherever you are and come back next week to see what I pick up my family at six and then.